I don't fucking know. All right, today's the day. Tonight is the night. I'm gonna dig into this cam chest. Um, I have my service manual, so I should be all right. That'll go step by step on how to do everything and, you know, not fuck everything up. Um, right now, I'm draining the oil um, and transmission fluid accidentally. I undid the wrong plug. I'm gonna pop this oil filter off here in a second. And then I'm gonna take off the right side peg and rear brake lever and disconnect from the brake piston. And then I should be able to dig right into this thing with some 3 16 Allen keys. Or Allen bits, I should say. So, this is gonna be a fun one. This might be a long video just because of me going into the unknown here. But, we got this. Right, so first up we have the uh, peg and rear brake. I put the ARP 12 point bolts on here. Again, large guy, wants some strong hardware. Um, so, these take a 3 8 12 point socket. We're just gonna... Okay, with that off, the rear brake is held on by a, almost like a sear clip on the back here, which I'm not gonna be able to show you just because of the weird fucking position it's in. But give me a second. See, it's just like a little Almost looks like a key ring, sort of. And that's held in. That's obviously your peg. And then the brake is just held in. This is your lever. There's a little slot right here where that pin goes in. And then there's a, the hole on the other side for that little uh, ring sear clip type thing. And that just pops right in there. And just set your brake piston up there. Out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna start taking this cam chest apart. Um, as you can see, I made a little diagram with my great artistic skills of the actual cam chest cover so I can place the bolts into their coinciding hole. I do think I'm gonna get the ARP hardware kit for this, but just in case I don't for some reason, I have this to fall back on. And the only thing in the service manual it says is to undo these in a crisscross pattern just like everything else we do with the engine. So I'm probably gonna start here, just one, two, three, four, blah, 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 all the way around. I am gonna do like the same thing as we do with the engine, you know, half here, half here, so on and so forth until the whole thing comes out at once. I don't wanna be taking one bolt out at a time. So, cue the time lapse. There we go. All the bolts are out and they're fancy little holdy holes. Now to pop this thing off. Probably gonna need to get out the dead blow again. Yeah, might as well. I do have the drip pin under here just in case some shit falls out. go. Yep. Good thing I put that drip pan there. Again, more gaskets. Let's toss these bitches in the trash. Now these early twin cam 
motors were known to have cam chain tensioner issues with these spring loaded uh, tensioners. These shoes were known to go bad fast and if you were lucky you would get about 30,000 miles out of one. Like I said this bike's about almost 40,000 so I'm very surprised at how good a shape that is in. I guess I got lucky and got a really good motor because this thing is in really good shape still. I'm gonna replace it obviously but yeah it's in very good shape. Actually everything in here looks like it's in pretty good shape. I definitely took the cam chain tensioner off wrong but I got it off. This thing literally fucking exploded into like five pieces. Um, so yeah I would highly recommend doing that the correct way and <laughs> not the way that I just did it. Um, I'm getting a new one of these anyway because this thing needs replaced. Like I said, it's been in here for, you know, God knows how long and these things aren't supposed to last that long anyway. So, what can you do? Uh, ensure the camshaft primary drive chain, this one, is reinstalled in the same direction of travel. Mark one of the link plates with a permanent marking pen or a scribe. Get my handy marker here and mark arrow. I could be doing this wrong, so we're learning together. Loosen the bolt securing the crankshaft sprocket. So this is the crankshaft sprocket. And now there is a tool you're supposed to use to wedge inside here. I don't have one, but I have this tool that I used when I did my chain conversion that locked the primary chain. So I'm just going to kind of wedge this in here somehow and hope that it works. I think it might, but I'm going to be using an impact anyway, so it shouldn't have too much bullshit spinning. So let me get that set up real quick. Now before you get all high and mighty telling me I'm not using impact bits on this, just remember I don't really fucking care because the only ones I have are metric and they don't fit in here. Look at that. Use this. There we go. And look at us go. So now we have both of those loosened. Crankshaft and camshaft sprocket bolts. If you're paying attention along in your books, we're on page 159, figures 206 through 213. Remove the camshaft sprocket bolt, A, camshaft sprocket bolt, and the crankshaft sprocket bolt and washer, B, smaller one. Now this is interesting. I knew these were going to be on here somewhere, but I wasn't sure where, but these are indexed. There's a dimple on the camshaft bolt, or the crankshaft bolt, or sprocket, and a dimple on the camshaft, and these do have to line up. And now this is saying I may need a pry bar to get this off. No, it's coming off pretty easy. This one doesn't look like it's going too low. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. We're having a good time here. Okay. Yeah. So remove the camshaft drive sprocket, A, the crankshaft drive sprocket B and the chain C. That's A, B, and C is how it's labeled in the manual. So don't mind me, I'm thinking out loud. So these are going to come off together, keeping tension on them so I don't fuck up the timing anymore. Just like that. And now see, those are the dimples right there. You can see them touching each other. They're touching each other like an altar boy and a priest. Yeah. All right, now what I'm going to do is take these with the tension on them and lay them on my organizational table over there so they don't get fucked up. Remove the sprocket spacer. This is the sprocket spacer right here. So this is the camshaft chain guide. You just squeeze these tabs. Don't mind me, I'm pretty sure I broke my finger earlier. I slammed both my fingers in a car door so I'm kind of... 
go. That's off. Oh, that's on the ground. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the uh, first cam chest video. Um, it's probably going to be another two or three part video just because of how intricate everything is. I think the teardown is probably going to be a two part video. And then I think the rebuild with the bearing pressing and um, the new cams, the new oil pump and everything is going to be a three part video. Just because again, there's a lot involved. Yeah, the, the teardown is pretty straightforward. I kind of stopped at the um, sprockets because from there it's a little bit more involved with the bolts you have to take off for the cam plate and the cams and then the oil pump. So that's going to be the next video. Again, thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. The comments have been kind of quiet lately. I know this is a new channel and everything. But um, yeah, share the videos as much as you can. Try to get some exposure. Yeah, thanks again.